Claw just released a new update. It's one of the most practical and useful updates I've seen in any of these chatbots. You could use it right now. And it might be a good reason to actually switch some tasks away from ChatGPT. So if you go to Claude.ai and sign in, it's available to free accounts and it's available to paid accounts as well. You'll see this new option right here that says choose style. And what's really nice about this is you could actually create your own custom style, which is what I wanna show you. That's really the big upgrade. But by default, you do get four different styles to choose from. So what these styles do is you're basically giving Claude a set of instructions for it to write in a very specific way. So the normal tone, that's what it's always been. You didn't have other options. But now, concise will give you a shorter response. The next one is for educational responses. So this one is what I've been testing out a bunch because I make a lot of educational content. And the formal one is exactly what that sounds like, clear and well-structured responses. And we'll go ahead and create our own. But when you pick one of these, what's nice is you could actually edit that style. So it's gonna open up this panel right here. And then if you click on any of these presets right over here, you could see exactly what that sounds like based on one of these examples. So a lot of times when you're writing a customer email, you wanna be concise. So if I click this, it says response via email to a customer who received the wrong item in their order. And then it's gonna give you this writing style. And this is just for reference. So then when you're just testing this out right now, you could see which one is gonna be a better fit. And I could click right here and see another one is gonna write that for me. So just to see a quick preview of what those responses could look like. And then if you like any of them, then you could choose that every time you do something. Now, the point of this is to have multiple writing styles. So the default one sometimes could be practical, but creating your own sometimes for different use cases, that's gonna be practical and you could pick and choose based on what you're doing that day. Now, let me show you how to customize these and create your own style. Because if you create your own style, it could write in your tone of voice, or if you wanna mimic someone else's tone of voice, you could do that too. And right now there is technically a way you could do this with any chatbot, but it will require some prompting. You have to do this every time. Sometimes you have to make custom GPTs for this very specific purpose. This just makes it a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna choose this option, create and edit styles right here. And I'm gonna create my own custom style. It says share your writing example and describe your style and Claude will make a custom writing style tailored for you. And this is where your writing style is gonna go, or you could describe it. I'll show you the scribe in a second. Right now, if you click this, you could upload from a device. So if you have a Word doc, for example, saved on your computer, you could upload that. So as long as that's something you wrote without using any AI, that will actually analyze your writing style. Or if you use someone else's writing style, you could also use that. Or you could just paste some text over here. I'll choose this option for now. And this is what I'm gonna do for this one, actually. For the writing style, you could do this with any YouTube channel. I'm gonna do it with my own video. I wanted to replicate my talking style, the way I talk. So YouTube automatically transcribes video. So if you go to a bottom of any video and in the description, click show transcription, it pulls in the transcription. I'm gonna go ahead and just toggle on timestamps or toggle off timestamps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this entire transcription, which I think this is a 14 minute video. So plenty of content, it just says, you need a few paragraphs, but I'm gonna take this entire transcript and it looks like I could paste that entire 14 minute transcript over here. So this is probably close to maybe 1500 words or so. And I'm gonna go ahead and create this style from here. Okay, now on this page, I could do a few different things. What I wanna start with is right here, I could choose one of these examples to see how it could write that way based on this writing style. So if I choose educational content, this one actually, let's choose marketing blog post. And then I would go ahead and read through this a little bit, see if I like the style of the writing. Does it sound like me? If it sounds like me, then it's good for the specific use case. They don't have video script as one of the options. So I probably wanna test this specific one inside of Claude. But if one of these actually makes sense for what you're training this for, I chose educational content too before and it wasn't quite what I was looking for in that specific use case. And then you could go ahead and press this option and edit the style manually. So you could see right here, it created this set of instructions manually. Communicate about technology and AI tools with enthusiasm, details, and conversational narration. Blend technical insights with personal experience and engaging storytelling. So it pulled that from the script, right? So it just analyzed that entire 14 minute video transcript and it picked that, it gave an example here. 
This was a recap video of the top AI tools that we key. So you could actually figure out how to prompt it using this prompt in one of these examples, and then you can manually prompt it because I'll show you that in a second. So if you want to manually edit the actual instructions, which is the set of instructions that this style is always going to use, you could always go ahead and do that and save it from here. Now, if I go back to the previous page, you could see I have a brand new version of this and I could go ahead and edit this if I want as well. And then I could name it something else. So this will be YouTube video script. I'll go ahead and save that from there. Then I'll create another one for maybe a very specific way I want to respond to emails and whatever else I do for marketing emails. And sometimes I'll just use some of these default ones. And then again, you could create more from this page. But this time, let me show you describe style instead. So in this case, you have multiple different options. So you could define style objective, describe the main purpose and the goal of your writing style. And then it gives you a very clear example. I want to teach complex topics step by step. Okay. Then you have this one tailored to an audience. So you could just talk about your specific target audience. A lot of my videos are for entrepreneurs and founders. So I could use that using very specific words to define your audience and create a style that way. Use a specific voice and tone. Sometimes that's all you need to do. And then that will be enough to create a style from there. Or you could just describe it more general or custom instructions. Now I have a different video about creating custom instructions and Claude has a very powerful tool on a different website. And I'll link that video below because if you really want a tailored custom instruction, they have a custom instruction builder. It's kind of on their API side, so it's not on the Claude website, but that is something you could use. That will cost you a few cents every time you do create those custom instructions because that one is different than Claude. You have to pay per uh, usage for that. But all the different ways, you could see a ton of different ways to create these custom instructions. Right now, I use custom GPTs for this, by the way, and I train those very specifically. I have different videos about those too, about how I get them to learn my writing style. But this is designed for this very specific use case and very intuitive, very easy to use. Write a YouTube video comparing ChatGPT to Claude. I will then choose this style right here. And if you have the paid version, you always want to choose the best model available. Right now it's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. If you have the free version, most likely it's going to use Claude Haiku, which is also good. It's faster. But sometimes it's worth upgrading these models to the $20 a month plan just to get access to just the best model available. And I think this is a better way to actually test it out. So on the right side, it's writing the script a little bit. This is a little further down. Let's talk about what you'll notice right away. ChatGPT greets you with an iconic dark interface and chat focused design is clean, familiar. So I think it's a little bit formal still. It's not as talkative as how I'm delivering this video because I don't like to read word by word off a script ever. I just bullet point things and then try to talk through them in a natural way like I'm talking to a friend. So I may want to go ahead and tailor that custom instructions a little bit. Some of it, it analyzes the writing style exactly. But when it comes to more conversational, I've had to do some tweaks. And since I had some experience with telling ChatGPT how to talk like me, I know what kind of words to use to try to mimic saying write more in a friendly tone, less enthusiastic, because sometimes it's overly enthusiastic. But Claude 3.5 Sonnet is my go to tool already for writing. So I use that over ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT for plenty of other things, but Claude I use specifically when I'm trying to write things. So I would go probably in the specific case after I tested it out because those five options I showed you didn't quite allow me to test this specific use case for email and copy and things like that, that were uh, marketing related, that was better. But for a YouTube script, I probably want to fine tune this a little bit more and then try it again. And once you really fine tune it, you come back to it over and over again, right? So this will, will be worth spending maybe 20 minutes, do a bunch of testing, get the style exactly right for that very specific use case. And it will save you hours probably every single week if you use this frequently enough. And they also released this new thing right away, introducing Google Docs in chats and projects. So right now you could click this and you could bring in Google Docs. So you no longer have to download Google documents as like a Word document and upload them here or copy and paste. You could just connect it directly right here. And if you're not familiar with projects, projects, you could give project a specific set of instructions and you could give it your knowledge base. So you could give it a lot of context. Now you could do it with Google Drive as well. So I have a different video about projects if you haven't seen that 
already. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next one.